Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I'm hoping you can see me from this beautiful sunlight that's starting to come. Maybe spring is on its way. I've been asked many questions about how to create my avatar or shavatar as it was named by uh, a friend of mine. Uh, so if you want to have a go, if you're a bit camera shy, um, if you've got a phone or an app that'll let you do it, have some fun. Uh, I don't know. It's creative in its own right, but hopefully you'll find that this helps you. If you're still struggling, drop me a message and I'll do my best to help you through it. But everybody needs an avatar or alter ego every so often. So um, if you enjoy, thumbs up, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next video for some more of my art. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. So I am on my home screen and I am screen recording. So here is what I do is I go into my messages and you see a little monkey at the bottom and you press on that and that will bring you up any of your avatars or shavatars. Now, what I'm going to do is show you something I've created. You'll have seen them on my art video introductions, but we're now gonna go through the process of plusing for a new memoji. It's super cool. You can have so much fun. And if you've ever played The Sims, you're going to love this. You can tone your skin colours and you can gradiate it. Uh, your hairstyles, there's preset ones, but you can go in there and alter the colour choices. So you have a great base to work with. So I'm just kindly going through and showing you all those. And um, what I'm going to show you now is how you select the different tones of your hair that you can do. So uh, at the minute, I forgot that the face that you're seeing at the top of the avatar is my face. And because I'm concentrating, <laughs> I've got the most stern face, but I do remember every so often and then start to put a smile. So I'm currently looking at the different hair color and sensing, what do I feel? What do I want to be? You can add highlights, which is the one below. And the dots at the top corner show you the different colors that you can be. So you can be really out there. You can have fun. Look, I've just noticed. <laughs> There's your little cheeky wink. <laughs> uh, you can come down and do your head shape. It's quite an interesting one. I tend to go for the same face, but just change the hair color. And it even goes as detailed as eyes. Uh, you can select the uh, shape of the eyes. You can also select the color that's in there. So again, you can make it as realism as you as you want, or you can really go out there. Eyelashes, they're quite fun as well. What am I saying? It's all fun. It's like creating your own little doll, but it's a really great way if you are really camera shy and you do want to interact with your audience and you do feel that there needs to be a face. Uh, this is an ideal way of doing it. And I rotate between doing my avatar as well as myself in front of the camera. It just depends whether I've had a good day, hair day, bad hair day, makeup day. Um, but it's a really great way of not being too concerned about yourself and being able to interact with your audience. Um, it goes through to jewellery, lipsticks, even the shape of your ears. So I'll just let you see this process as it goes through and I'll talk as necessary. For a bit of fun, I thought I would add a little bit of facial hair just to show you that you know, it can be male, it can be female, it can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> um, I wear, I tend to always put my glasses on because in real life I do wear my glasses and I think that's what makes it connect more uh, with myself. Another cheeky wink for you, you guys are spoiled today. <laughs> You can also add that little bit of accessories, different hats. So it's super cool. Use your imagination, have some fun. Once you've selected your avatar, you then hit done and he will be saved or she will be saved at the bottom there. So it will always remain there for you. But you just have to remember to click that little monkey above the head and that's where you'll find all your avatars. So I'm going to now send one. So I've got my person I'm sending it for and this is where you select whether you want to do a photo, which currently it's in a photo. And uh, uh, I'm just going to flick that around. But I'm just giving you a little tour of Southampton there. <laughs> There's me, bad hair day, but I'm doing this for you guys. See at the bottom left, you could see a little star shape. So that's what you click to bring up your different avatars. 
and you can press the button to take that photo which is what I've done there not a flattering photo but I've done it and you would press the arrow to send it to yourself and you can choose to send it to other people uh, and if you don't want it you can cancel it out so I'm flicking over to video now and I am selecting my monkey to find out where my emojis are or my avatars are and there you go she's stunning way better than the original <laughs> and currently I've pressed record on the button I'm showing you that you can do it landscape or portrait and it's it's really great and if you put your hand in front of it it would remove that and you'd see your real self so you'd need to make sure nothing gets in front of you so if I click that uh, done button you can see it's creating that movie that will store it automatically into your photos so if you go into your photos you will see your little avatar there ready for you to watch and play and make sure you're happy. Hi, this is me now testing it, just showing you that you can hold it this way or that way. I hope you found this useful. I hope you're going to now be able to create your own Shavatar. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you on the next video.